As we expected, Akala has won the very first Polkadot Parachain Auction. I believe Moonbeam is going to win the second Parachain Auction. In this video, we're going to talk about what Moonbeam is exactly, why it has become so, so popular, and how you can maybe make a 10x on your money with Moonbeam. Let's discuss. My name is Viva from Nisami and it is my mission to make sure that everyone knows how to lead a financially healthy life. And before we're going to talk about the current and the next parachain auctions on Polkadot, I would like to remind you a little bit of the previous videos that we have been uploading about this topic about para uh, Polkadot parachain auctions, of course. First of all, I made this video a while ago where I explained everything about parachain auctions, what crowd loans are, what the parachain auctions is, how the process goes exactly. So definitely make sure to watch this video before you watch the video that you're now currently watching. If you have already watched that one, maybe check out also the video about Akala. As I've mentioned before, Akala has won the very first parachain auction on Kusama. So if you want to know a little bit more about Akala, even though it has already won one parachain, then definitely make sure to watch that video. And we're also going to talk today about not only Moonbeam, but also Moon River, which is the sister network of Moonbeam. I already made a video about Moon River just a while ago, uh, which I launched on June of this year. So definitely make sure to watch that video as well. But we're going to talk a little bit about Moon River at the end of this video as well. If you want to watch these videos, I'm going to provide you with the links in the description below this video you're currently watching. Okay, so let's first talk about the very first parachain auction on Polkadot. It has been been an absolute success it has been very very exciting to watch i'm not sure if you're into formula one but this felt exactly like max verstappen versus lewis hamilton a beautiful contest between these two networks between moonbeam and akala it was uh, yeah it was just uh, beautiful to watch so what happened exactly well First of all, you need to know that the Polkadot Parachain auctions take about seven days. Two of those days are like the warm-up days, if you will, a warm-up period, a warm-up round. These were the first two days of the Polkadot Parachain auction. These were the last five days of the Polkadot Parachain auction. The first two days don't really count, so all everything that happens uh, from the third day on, that is what is counting for sure. Now, we could see that during this warm-up period, the, uh, well, what is this, like, purple line is a Moonbeam line. So we can see that Moonbeam was well ahead of Akala in the first two days of the Polkadot Parachain Auction. But then right before the bidding period started, and this is the most, most important period, of course, right before it started, Akala took over the lead and had an absolute blast and, yeah, just crushed Moonbeam in a very short amount of time. So right when the bidding started, Akala was in the lead for this Polkadot Parachain Auction. And they stayed in the lead. <laughs> they, yeah, the difference between these two was just super duper minimal. There were just a few Polkadot tokens difference between these two. And then from more or less this point onwards, then Moonbeam started to take over the lead again. And then Moonbeam had a more and more a massive lead over Akala for sure. But the thing is... No one really knows during these parachain auctions, no one knows when the bidding is going to end, when the crowd loan or when the parachain auction is going to end. So when this period, when all these seven days of the parachain auction had ended, then the moment was decided that this was the moment when the parachain auction had ended. And at that very exact time, Akala had just a few dot tokens more than Moonbeam, which made them the winner of the very first parachain auction. So yeah, it was a beautiful match to see. I'm not sure if we're going to see another match like this one in the next couple of parachain auctions. I personally don't really think so. I think the next one is going to be a very easy win for Moonbeam. And if you're wondering what the parachain auction schedule is going to look like in the next couple of weeks, here you have it. Auction number one has just finished. It started on November 11th and it went all the way up to uh, November uh, 18th. Auction number two is now starting. So while you're watching this video, it's very likely that auction number two has already started and Moonbeam is hopefully going to win that one. Then auction three, then auction four, and auction number five. So every auction takes one week in total. The last auction, auction number five, is going to end on December 16th and then all of these first five parachain auction winners are going to be onboarded on December 17th. So not just a one by one by one but every uh, every parachain auction from these first auctions these are going to be onboarded on one day at once on December 17th. And if you want to be uh, up to date with all the information about Polkadot, about these parachain auctions, about these parachains, definitely make sure to subscribe to this channel. 
Before we're going to talk about Moon River, we're going to explain to you what Moonbeam does exactly. And some people call it Moonbeam is Ethereum built on Polkadot. The goal of Moonbeam is to make sure that smart contracts are going to be able to be run on Polkadot and smart contracts are being used more and more. Right here we can see the top 12 smart contract use cases. We can see everything from digital identity to trade to financial services to government, insurance, escrow, mortgages, as even clinical trials and also supply chain management. These are all some very massive use cases for smart contracts. And the good thing about the Moonbeam smart contracts is that it is very compatible with Ethereum smart contracts as well. The Ethereum smart contracts are mostly built in uh, Solidity. Solidity is like a programming language, if you will. So the smart contracts are written with the Solidity language. And because of its uh, because of the fact that it is written in the Solidity language means that these smart contracts can also be used on Moonbeam. So that means that on Polkadot we can see the same smart contracts that are also being used on, smart, uh, on Ethereum, of course. So that basically means that a developer of smart contracts can say, okay, I have my smart contracts right now on Ethereum. I also want to have them on Polkadot. I'm going to be using Moonbeam to make sure that my smart contracts are also going to be able to be run on Polkadot as well. So that is the beautiful thing about Moonbeam. And on top of that, Moonbeam is also going to make sure that we are going to be able to send tokens from one parachain to another on the Polkadot network via bridges. Now, if you want to participate in the crowd loan for Moonbeam, you can definitely still do so. First of all, make sure you have enough DOT tokens, Polkadot tokens, of course. These need to be unbonded. You do not need to be using them for staking at this very moment if you want to be using them for these crowd loans, for these parachain auctions. Secondly, you also need a Moonbeam address. You can also use a Ethereum address. I personally used my MetaMask address. This is an address where the rewards are going to be sent to you in exchange for participating in the Polkadot parachain auctions. Because if you join the crowd loan, you're going to be basically uh, yeah, giving your tokens for a certain period of time to Moonbeam so they can use that for the crowd loans. And that period of time can be 96 weeks if Moonbeam is going to win the second parachain auction. So in exchange for using your DOT tokens for these crowd loans, Moonbeam is going to deliver you with beautiful rewards and to uh, yeah, receive these rewards, you're going to need a Moonbeam or an Ethereum address. Definitely make sure to get one for sure. And lastly, you're going to need a Polkadot.js browser extension. This extension lets you join the crowd loan for Moonbeam. So once you've got your Polkadot tokens, once you've got your Moonbeam or Ethereum address, and once you've got the browser extension, the Polkadot.js browser extension, just click over here on start and you're going to be brought through the process of the crowd loan. Just follow all the steps and you'll be good. Let's then also talk a little bit about Moon River. So what is Moon River exactly? Well, Moon River is the little sister, if you will of Moonbeam. Moon River has been installed, has been onboarded on the Kusama network. Kusama is the sister network of Polkadot. So basically Moon River is on Kusama. Moonbeam is going to be on Polkadot. Moon River is the sister network of Moonbeam and Kusama is the sister network of Polkadot. If you have participated, by the way, in the crowd loan for Moon River, congratulations, you're probably up quite a lot of money. Let me know in the comments if you did. And the thing is that Moon River has achieved quite a few beautiful results for itself. It now has a total value locked of about $400 million in a very short amount of time. Total value locked is the total value that is locked in smart contracts within the Moon River protocol. Apart from that, we can also see that Moon River has already delivered 8 million transactions within just a few months because they started doing this mid-August more or less, and now we are mid-November. And yes, again, if you have participated in the Moon River crowd loan, congratulations, because you are very likely to have made a lot of money. We can see over here that if you would have participated in the Moon River crowd loan as of November 16th, your ROI, your return on investment would have been 1336%, a super duper impressive 14x on your money within just a few months time. This ROI is very different from the other parachain auctions that were being held on Kusama. 
we can see that Karura, for example, for example, which is the sister network of Akala, which won the very first parachain auction on Polkadot, they had a ROI, a return on investment of 39%. Sheedan, 59%. Kala, 28%. Bifrost, 25%. So the difference between Moon River and the rest is just absolutely astonishing. 1,336% in just a few months. We can see that same hype in the charts, of course, of Moon River versus the US dollar. Right over here, we can see that at the end of August, the uh, price was sitting around $80 per coin. That went up massively, about 500%, all the way up to $500. Then the coin dropped quite a lot in value, went back to $230. And then it went up to uh, like $450, and now it is back down to $330. So yes, I do believe that it is very, very likely that Moonbeam is going to win the second parachain auction on Polkadot. Now, I'm wondering who the third one is going to be. Maybe it's going to be a star, and I might make a video about them next week. But if you do think you have an idea who is the third parachain auction winner, definitely let me know in the comments below. Now, if you haven't watched this video yet about Akala, definitely make sure to do so. But if you have already seen that one, make sure to watch the top five crypto for the month of November right over here. And with that being said, I would like to thank you for your time and hopefully until the next one. Bye bye.